Come on. Let's get them. I, I think they're in there. I'm definitely going to chuck some grenades. If I hit one of them, I'm pushing. Relentlessly. Relentless aggression. Come on. Okay, there we go. Look, activated. 100%. I'm in there. Let's go. Oh, hello. Hello, son. What was Gibby doing up there? Jeez Louise. Okay, hello, caustic. Is no one aware that I'm up here? What's happening here? Why is no one... Stay still. Let me kill you. Thank you very much. I actually need to get some loot. I'm not actually probably equipped right now, so let me just get some of this. Oh, snap. Yo, this gas, he's actually fully killed. He should he should actually disappear. Oh, I can hear someone. Ugh, him with a crouch. Woo! Okay, I need to kill this guy. Quick, quick, quick. Come on. Ugh. Uh-huh. It's your boy Hana. Yes, my people, my Hana percenters, welcome back to another video. In this video, we're talking about the flatline. We are going to go quite in depth in this video. So grab a snack, grab a notepad or something. I don't know. Grab something and get ready to say hello to my little friend, baby. I'm going to talk about the flatline, why it's so devastating, why the recent buff has just made it such a, a much more viable gun and a, such a hard and heavy hitting gun. It was before, but geez louise, guys. Well... Here we are, training. Full auto with a punch. They're not lying with that description. We are gonna discuss the Flatline's base magazine capacity, damage output, recoil, uses, and much more. For a normal mag, the damage output is 380. And you know, with someone with purple or gold shield, that's 200 health. And so you have about 180 or nine bullets that you can actually miss with this weapon and still kill them with a base magazine flatline. It's very, very devastating. The only problem is it's very, very volatile. As you can see, the recoil, it's its not hard in terms of controlling the recoil, pointing it down, but it moves left or right very, very unpredictab unpredictably. And so you need to be always making those adjustments on the right analog stick or your mouse making sure that you keep it centered. You have to be actively always controlling that aim, as you can see I'm trying to do. The fire rate is quite slow compared to a lot of other assault rifles, but that's also to compensate for the fact that it does pack such a heavy, heavy, heavy punch. I mean, it is crazy. Focus on getting the flat line to hit that little dot in the middle. So I'm gonna show the R301 and some differences. The max damage is 252. You can see me trying to struggle and work out the new recoil pattern because if you didn't know, the R301's recoil pattern actually changed recently and I haven't actually had time to really look into working it out. But as you can see, I'm trying to figure it out, trying to work out the recoil pattern. But once again, the, the flat line, the damage output is disgusting. It is really, really devastating. You know, one thing I can say is the sight is not the best on this gun, you can see. It blocks up a lot of the view. It's not the most, you know, it's just not good. You want a one time, you want a two times on it. And speaking about one times and two times, it does have a single fire mode. It's not as fast as the hemlock. And you do need to space your shots in, like, in between each shot because it's very recoil heavy. You also need to aim a lot higher because it is a heavy ammo weapon, which means that bullet drop is a factor. If you want single fire, go hemlock. What range is best for the flatline? Really, make sure you use the flatline to kind of medium range, medium to close range, because that is the sweet spot for this gun. Not close, medium close, or medium. You know, because you don't want to be outgunned by a gun that has a faster fire rate. Take advantage of the flatlines high damage per second so how we can do this is by using this weapon in its kind of allotted way which is kind of distancing yourself from the fight and picking people off you can't be in front of someone who has an r99 you're going to get shredded and hip firing is atrocious with the flat line and you can't be pre-aiming someone for too long and standing out in the open trying to get a shot like this without being in an advantageous position advantageous advantageous okay thank you for your help i guess because you are aiming for so long trying to re control the recoil you're going to be out in the open shooting for a lot longer so you need to make sure 
that your opponent's either weakish, maybe, you know, 100 HP, that's only a five bullet kill. Or that you're starting the confrontation with the flat line, and then you can switch to another weapon. One of the two, any of those scenarios works, but you need to find your sweet spot. The flat line, look, as you can see here, I'm quite out in the open for a while shooting that shot. I did get the kill, but I'm standing out kind of open having to shoot that shot and i think that's why the meta in apex legends is you know submachine guns you know being able to shoot move move strafe quicker as you're shooting and all those other things so once again as you can see here you know someone without shield a flatline absolutely shreds guys hey just a quick side note if you want to learn some stuff about the peacekeeper if you want to hit some consistent damage you're tired of getting eight damage 16 damage 10 damage just like that but you want to hit for 72 Listen guys, I've got a video that's going to pop up right there. Make sure you click it, it's going to open up into a new window and you can watch that after this video. It's got some secret tips the pros won't tell you about the Peacekeeper and why a lot of the pros used it in the tournaments. Let's go. So, another use for the flatline guys, I'm going to be honest with you, is to pressure people from the storm. Because it's such a high damage weapon, you need to make sure you're in the best position to use this weapon. And what I find very useful is actually fighting alongside the storm. So for example, we're getting pressured here, my friend Trippy and I, we're getting pressured hard. We need to get past the storm, but I can hear someone along the other side of the wall. I bring out the flat line and I apply that pressure. Boom. He had alternator disruptor rounds. He could have destroyed me. I have a video on that gun there and how OP that gun really is right now. You need to capitalize on that gun. But one thing is always making sure that I'm using this gun, not too close range, but just far enough for it to be optimal. Like here, it's all right. But as I get a bit closer and you can see me using it on this guy right here, laser beam, complete and utter laser beam. It's unstoppable. And the headshots for this, I mean, each bullet is 20 damage. Headshot 36 damage, look at the headshots. 72 damage in two bullets you know and with this gun you're able to miss shots because of the high damage you know as mentioned before guys just use it make sure you have a sight on it though guys don't don't do don't do a hana and, and have no sight on your flat line guys put a sight on it but this is the last clip here guys i'm just going to show you how i use the flat line mostly i use it as a secondary weapon i like to have you know shoot someone get their shield down and then finish them off the flat line or i like to start the confrontation with the flat line break their shield and then use a faster gun you know with a higher fire rate to then capitalize and finish the kill mission complete like this look at this here so here i break his shield that's quite easy in two shots switch to the alternator and finish him off with a higher fire rate that's what i do all the time with this gun and it doesn't fail me yet it hasn't failed me yet I'm going to try and soften him up with a flat line. Unfortunately, my teammate was blocking the shot. Take a couple more shots at the down player. I'm empty in this mag. And now I'm thinking, okay, do I want to risk it with a flat line? Maybe not. It's quite close range. Let me switch it to the SMG, the alternator, and I can finish the job. And here we have it. So, the, listen, guys. I think the flat line is an amazing assault rifle. It's an amazing high damage weapon. Slow fire rate, very slow fire rate, but it does make up for it. But I do think the meta right now it's definitely submachine guns. Guys, if you like the video, if you learned something new, if you're gonna try out the flat line, make sure to hit me with a subscribe. I do have a lot more videos. The playlist is gonna pop up here and here. Make sure you do check out the videos. And a quick massive shout out to all my 100 percenters. We have hit 50 subscribers. We're on 51 right now. I wanna appreciate every single one of my 100 percenters. It really means a lot that you stick around, watch my videos. You know, and I'm going to be making more, a lot more for you. So stick around, guys. Whew. I also have a throwback video of when I used a flatline, double flatline to get a squad wipe. Enjoy, guys. And until next time, peace. Uh-huh. It's your boy, Hannah. And yes, I'm rocking the double flatline. Do not judge me. Listen, do not judge me. Now, we've heard someone and we are going on a hunt. I want to find some people. I'm thirsty for it. And what do we have? Listen, sit your hyper ass down. Sit down. Oh, we have a lifeline here taking a jump. Wow. <laughs> Lifeline's an athlete. What's going on here? Just running away from the whole situation. I'm trying to hit with a flat line. It's unsuccessful right now. It's not really looking too good. So I'm going to take the plunge. Mm. Hit the wall. That was totally on purpose. That was 100% on purpose. And look, double flat line comes in handy. 
can't believe I'm actually saying that, guys. Double flat line for the win. Oh, I'm going to let my teammate go for the res because my broccoli senses, my spidey senses are tingling right now. I knew you were here. Have this flat line justice. And the res.